Closing in on first pitch tonight in Philadelphia. It's Phillies baseball on the show next. Time for baseball on the show as we get you set for baseball at a place they call the bank. Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, game two of this three-game interleague series between the Seattle Mariners and the Phillies. Hi again, folks. Welcome back to Phillies baseball here on the show. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a moment to look at our two starters here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. Willie Bloomquist makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Tonight for Seattle. Shortstop, Willie Bloomquist. Underway tonight and underway with a flourish as the first pitch is bounced into right field for a leadoff single. Yeah, a nice job there at going the other way with this ball. This is something that they're going to need to do, and he's on base with a leadoff single to start the ball game. Dustin Ackley will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Swing, and he pops him up behind the bag at second. And this is taken out there by Rollins for the first out. Well, he gave up the hit with the first pitch he threw. Now he gets an out with the second. At least we'll have a quick game on our hands if this keeps up. Robinson Cano will take his first cuts here with the runner still at first and one away now. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Runners off for second. Here's a check swing and a foul ball. Too high. One and two. And now on one and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he can come back with that big curve. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. And this is past a diving ugly at second and base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Corey Hart will get his first shot at it here. And he's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And now he'll bluff a move back to second base just to make sure the runner wasn't getting any ideas out there. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. And, and they can't get Hart to chase there, but he's still behind a ball and two strikes. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. I tried to backdoor him there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. EK, where are you going now on three and two? You still got to work at corner. You're not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. And you're just not going to get a better double play ball than this one. He's in perfect position, but then I think his hands got started a little bit before the ball got to him. The old saying, be quick, but don't hurry. This one's going to wind up a very costly error. Justin Smoke will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. It's going to take a lot of guile to work out of this one. Well, he's got plenty in reserve. This would need to be a mix. And that ball is out of here. It's a grand slam.
So he will touch them all on the Grand Slam. 12 home runs for him now thus far, as the Mariners have opened up a 4 to nothing lead. Boy, how about this for a first inning outburst? They've come right out and really handed this guy his lunch on the mound. And that's going to wind up being a first inning grand slam. Wow. You know what? They may not be done. Kyle Seeger will stand in now, hoping to turn things around as he's stuck in a bit of a cold spell these past five ball games. And here's a fastball called for strike one. At the very least, he'll get a fresh start at things here following the Grand Slam. I don't think he'll take a whole lot of consolation in that, but you're right. As best he can, he's got to clear his mind and start over. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Boy, it's just not very often that you can put it to a guy like this early on. I mean, they've got him on the ropes here in the very first inning. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Another 2-2 offering. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. He'll be disappointed with that at bat, but potentially... The saving grace might be that he got to see a lot of pitches here in the first inning, so he'll have a good idea of what's to come later on. Logan Morrison is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Well, he's really had to work hard here in this first inning. And you got to wonder, how much is that going to take out of him? And he pumps the fastball by him here, 1-2 and two now. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But not before the Mariners strike for four runs, all coming via the Grand Slam. Home half of the first on its way from Citizens Bank Park. Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen. And to lead off the home half of inning number one, the leadoff hitter digging in at the plate. Center fielder, number 19. And this is fouled back and out of play. Hit hard toward the right side. And he's going to try and answer right back. Extra bases to start the home first. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Oh, that one sounded great off the bat. That's a good, crisp line drive right here to start the inning, and he'll make it up to second with a leadoff double. Jimmy Rollins will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. strike to the 35 year old veteran nothing in one well we'll give you a look there at the graphic he's in scoring position with his 15th double of the year big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field Morrison has to retreat a bit but he gets there for route number one A uh, fly ball to left's not going to do you any good in this situation. Look, you got a guy on second and nobody out. If you take this to right field and advance a runner, then at least you've made a productive out. Instead, this is just a waste. Chase Utley will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs.
Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. One out and a runner on second base. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss as the count goes to 0-2 on Utley. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. And Utley out in front of it as this one's on the ground to his opposite number at second. Throw to first, and Utley's retired to gone. That's just a textbook case right here. By not advancing the runner on that previous at-bat, that would have been a run. Instead, now you've got two outs and a runner only at third. Ryan Howard will stand in here with a chance to pad his RBI total. And as you can see, he currently sits third in the National League in that category. Now the first pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now pitch swung on and lined softly to short. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Phillies strand one. They're down 4 nothing. Mike Zanino will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. And Hamels takes something off to start the at bat and it pays off. It's 0 and 1. And this will be fouled away. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Well, this is what folks mean when they're talking about finishing off a hitter. They decide to come right with the fastball here, 0-2. Just runs right by him. Number 53 will stand in for the first time here. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Back to the changeup, but this one finds the target for strike one. Fouled back. May get four strikeouts in a row as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And remember now, he finished off the previous now inning batting. with back-to-back -back strikeouts. Shot. And now he started this Little inning with two more. Miss. So he's really got it working out there now. Willie Bloomquist will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And that's waved at and missed one and one. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. And now a swing and a ball hit hard back up the middle. And a dive by Rollins, but he can't come up with it. A base hit. Dustin Ackley will try it again. He flew out his first time. Dustin Ackley. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. And this ball will be chopped foul. Here's another 0-2. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. One left for Seattle. They lead it four to nothing. Marlon Byrd will stand in now, just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season. And a swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. Down by four this early, I don't know if that's the type of swing you need to be taking here. Here's a swing and a ground ball for Seeger down at third. 
Throws in time, and that's out number one. And, you know, pitching's a lot more than just velocity. This guy, he's living proof. If you hit your spots, change speeds, you can get guys out with an 87, 88-mile-an-hour fastball, and he did it right there. And he'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now the 1-1. One, one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. You got to make sure if you come inside, you come way inside. You leave it out a bit, he's liable to hit that thing in the second deck. Here's Cano now at second. Well into the outfield turf as he makes the stop. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Now, these infielders have been busy early on, and that's another ground ball out for him. Probably not going to be the last one we see either. Carlos Ruiz will get his first chance now, trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. On a hefty swing there, but he gets on top of it and sends a little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Robinson Cano is ready to go here as we begin the third. Second baseman, Robinson Cano. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. One gone now in the Mariners' third inning. And standing in is the right fielder, Corey Hart. Circle change there, called strike one. Well, he's been in a tough stretch offensively, and this sure ain't going to help. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. 1-1, one, one, a fastball high, 2-1 and one now. And he's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Well, This is a good job to work the count from 0-1 and one to 3-1, and one, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a fastball. Ball four. Justin Smoke will get another shot. Off to a good start with the grand slam his first time around. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Sure not fooling a whole lot of guys in these first few innings. That ball was absolutely raked, and it's not the first one that's been hit hard. He's just fortunate that that one was right at his man. Kyle Seeger will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch to him. And he drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. And it looks like he's rebounded pretty well from that rough inning a couple innings back. He put up a zero last time, and he's close to doing it again. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And they'll stop the runner at second base, but there are two on and two out now. Well, just a good job of going with the pitch there. You see it's on the outside part of the plate, and with the bases empty, that third baseman's a good 15 to 20 feet off the line. So this is not much more than a routine ground ball, but he's got no shot of getting to it. No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. Logan Morrison is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. Oh. Well, you're not going to get that call if you've been all over the place. Now, if I'm pitching, I want that call, but... At this point, no, he hasn't earned it. Slice down the left side, but foul. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone, two and two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Mariners leave a couple, but they're in front four to nothing.
Cody Ashey will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now a check swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Tough ruling, but it's out number one. So one gone in the inning as we take a look at what's on tap for the fighting Phils over the course of the next seven days. And we, of course, will have all the action for you right here on the show. Paul Hamels will step in now. And this is hit well towards the hole. And he'll reach to knock this ball down. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. Hey, and you know, sometimes when you don't have your best stuff, you can still go out there and help your guys out by swinging the bat. And sure enough, he goes after this pitch here, and he's going to wind up on first base with a base hit. Number 19 will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Here's the first offering. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box. So it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And that average of his, which was not too good before this hot streak, back up to the 260s now. So slowly but surely, he's getting back to respectability. Jimmy Rollins will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And that misses for ball one. And this is a big spot right here. You've got to get something out of this, even if it's just a run or two. First and second now, one man out. Swing and ooh, he saws him off with that one. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. And that's taken in by Ackley. Two away now. Chase Utley will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Mike Zanino will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Mike Zanino. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Number 53 will now dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Oh, and Hamels loves to start guys with the change. That time it's good for a strike. And I think now you're starting to get the sense that he's put that first inning behind him, and he looks a lot more comfortable out there now. Now a hard liner, but foul. There's the lefty's offering on one and two. 
And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The batter, number eight. Willie Bloomquist will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Lays off 1-0. and And that's where, if I'm pitching, I just pour a fastball in there. You got to figure he'd be taking to give his pitcher a second or two to get himself together over in the dugout. Good release on the circle change, 2-1 and one now. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Calm yourself already. Now batting, center fielder. Dustin Ackley will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. And he's really going to have And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. More from Citizens Bank Park in just a moment. Ryan Howard will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a swing by Howard, and the big fella launches this one out to deep right field. And that will find the seats. A home run. A solo shot there for Ryan Howard. 41st home run of the year for him as they get on the board it's four to one now about the only silver lining to this one from a defensive point of view is it came with the bases empty leading off an inning you can survive it when this guy is hitting solo shots but if he's doing this with two or three men on base then things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Marlon Bird will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Marlon Bird. And this is going to be a foul ball. One run, four hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Ah, uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something slow here, and you'll probably have him three feet out in front. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of assisted that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Now a ball lined to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. Pretty good swing there. You'll watch. Head stays down. Ball gets deep in the zone. And he lets those hands lead the way. And he drives it to right field. That's as good an approach as you're going to see. Dominic Brown will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this is fouled straight back. One run, five hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's in there. Base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Fortunately, however, the third baseman's able to run it down, so there's going to be no advance. Wow. Carlos Ruiz will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And a fastball taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Hart is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. And now they've got a man caught out there. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Cody Ashey will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. Ashy. 
He's running towards second. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that will freeze the runner at third with two gone. Paul Hamels to get a shot now in an RBI spot, so a chance to help his own cause here. And he's got a hit in the game already, so he can handle the bat at least a little bit. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Now here on the mound, you cannot take it easy on the pitcher here with two outs. He can still bloop one in there and drive home two, so you need to be thinking strikeout all the way. Hit on the ground towards first. And Smoke will take this one over to the bag, and the side is retired. Phillies get one on the home run by the big fella, Ryan Howard. We're through four. It's the Mariners four, and the Phillies one. Robinson Cano will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. This for Utley at second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, right fielder, Corey. Corey Hart will stand in, base on balls his last time. Low for ball one. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Ah, changed up on him here, but this is lined into left field for a base hit. Justin Smoke will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. You can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Yeah, and here with the runner who's on the move, you've got no chance of even thinking about getting the double play. So a smart idea there just to take the sure out at first. Kyle Seeger will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Number 19 is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Mariners leave one as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. Number 19 will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. Leading and you get the sense, coming. Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well Center taken out of the ballgame to this Number point. 19. Yeah, they've pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And this is fouled back and out of play. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. There to handle it is Hart, and there's your first out. Well, you always want to be aggressive at the plate, but my goodness, look at that ball to strike ratio so far. These guys are swinging at everything. I mean, everything. Jimmy Rollins will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Hits are even at seven apiece. A swing and a ball hit back up the box. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. And as a pitcher, you always have to remember that once you let go of the pitch, you've got to become an infielder. Here's a guy that fields his position well, so he's in great position to spear this thing and then get the easy out at first. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here we go. 
and he takes a pitch high and away for ball one. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. But it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Left field. And Morrison will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Logan Morrison will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. And this ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. Yeah, and about the only drawback you have to having so many strikeouts is that it really runs that pitch count up. And you can see on the graphic right here that that total's starting to get up there now, so he may be getting just a little bit tired. And this is on the ground for Utley. Could be two. The second, and he bobbles it, but they say he had control. And now after that call at second, here comes the skipper out of the third base dugout as he apparently doesn't agree with the call. I believe the second base umpire is going to tell him that the drop occurred on the transfer, but that's not going to sit well with the skipper, so you can just about guarantee that he's going to have his say before he returns to the dugout. Number 53. We'll dig in now, just hoping to put one in play. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts so far. A tag for one. <laughs> Willie Bloomquist will try and keep it going. 3 for 3 thus far. First pitch here misses wide, 1 and 0. We've talked about all the strikeouts. The only side effect is right there, though. He's run up a pretty high pitch count now. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now here's a swing and a ground ball. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Mariners are on top, 4-1. to one. Ryan Howard will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, 4, 5, and 6, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Now here's a swing by Howard, and the big fella launches this one out to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game. And the Phils have cut the gap to 4-2 now. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game. And it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Marlon Byrd will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Foul back. And double-barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left-hander and a right-hander start to throw. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Well, he's allowed just two runs to this point. Both of them coming on solo homers. Things could be much different now if those had come with guys on base, but as it is, this has been a pretty good outing. Dominic Brown will dig in with one in and one away. 
a fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And this is fouled back and out of play. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You get the sense he's starting to nibble a bit at the corners here, and that's something he wasn't doing earlier. Yeah, and he sort of backed off the throttle a little bit, too. I'm wondering if that home run ball might have changed his approach just a little bit. Three and one now. Out in front as he yanks this down the line at first. And Smoke won't get a glove on it. It's a fair ball. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole, and at average, it'll climb a few more points. Carlos Ruiz will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. And that slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Cody Ashey will dig in. He doubled his last time. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. The 2 3 4 hitters now to start the seventh. It's the Mariners 4 and the Phillies 2. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh, but before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. Dustin Ackley will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Center fielder, Dustin And there's the fastball by Hamels. Good for strike one. Well, the guy you see right there calling the shots has opted to roll with his starter here to begin his half of the seventh. And that pitch count is a concern, so he may get the chance to finish this inning off and then call it a night. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base umpire, but no swing on that one. It's ball one. Grounded foul. Still two strikes. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. 
Well, a good pitch there to get the out. And looking ahead, he's due to lead off the next half inning. So, in all likelihood, this could be the end of the line for him on the mound. The second baseman, Robinson Cano, will stride in. Grounded out his last time through. Breaking ball for a strike, 0-1. DK, the starter creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, with the way that teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think he'll wind up going much further. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a one-out single. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in is the right fielder, Corey Hart. Grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. Cano holding. Here's the pitch. And this is on the ground to third. Utley for one. Back to Howard, but it's not in time to get them both. Yeah, you know, a double play there was always going to be a stretch. And that's where you just take that force out at second, get the lead runner, and then say, you know what? Thank you very much. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And for all the pitches he's thrown, only one walk so far. That's a little bit surprising. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change, 1-2. and two. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One left for Seattle, but they still lead this one 4-2. to two. Rafael for call. He's going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher, Hamels. Number 15, Rafael. Here's the first offering. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Low with a fastball here. In the dirt, even. It's ball one. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. And now another base runner for him to contend with now. And as we bring up his line, you can see that's an even 10 hits against him so far. And you have to wonder how much longer they're going to let him stay out there. Number 19 will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. and A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And he waits on a changeup there and pulls it to fairly deep right field. There to handle it is Hart, and there's your first out. Well, and I think that's the thing with throwing that changeup as slow as he does. You're going to make that hitter supply all the power himself. He gets good wood on this thing, but not enough to get it out of here. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. There's a line drive, and he's swinging it as good as anyone, folks. The streak will continue. He's got a base hit. 
Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Number 97 is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Chase Utley to step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. There's one. On to first, it's a double play. And another crisis is averted here as the inning is over. Good work there out of the Seattle pen. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mariners four and the Phillies two. Jake Diekman will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Kyle Seeger will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Now a changeup misses here to begin the eighth. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, hard to believe that's not a strike. I don't know exactly where that would have missed. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Ball hit out toward Utley at second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The batter, left fielder, Logan, Logan Morrison. Morrison will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Mike Zanino. Will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Now, some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right hander start to loosen. Brad Lincoln will get the call here as he'll take over with one gone in the top of the eighth. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. And this is in the dirt, but Ruiz able to block it nicely. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. This is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone could be beneficial to an offense. Brad Miller will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five, Brad Miller. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Your attention, please. So with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. And that's in there for a strike. Short lead from second, now the pitch. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. 0-2, you got to shorten up. Find some way at least to put the ball in play. You can't afford a strikeout here with an important run out there at second base. And the way this inning's gone... His eyes had to be lighting up on that pitch, but you know, all he could do was pop it up. Willie Bloomquist 
will stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. Al Albuquerque is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and And this is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from it, so you've got to suck it up. And that misses 2-0. and Strike call, 2-1. and Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2-0, and you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he got him. Mariners leave a couple as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. A new pitcher to tell you about now is it'll be the hard-throwing Fernando Rodney that gets the nod here. Now a ball lined towards center field. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Yeah. Give him three hits now for the ball game. This one's probably the weakest of the bunch, but I doubt he'll be complaining. I know I wouldn't be. Marlon Byrd will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. A swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. Calling for it is Ackley, and he's got it for the first out. Whoa, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath anytime a ball's hit in the air at this place. But luckily, he got under this ball a little bit too much, and that runner has to retreat back to first base. Dominic Brown will get another shot now, two for three in the game. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Here's a fastball that he laces the other way into left, and this will split the gap for extra bases. And they'll chase this one down now out near the 387 sign. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. Well, that's what he's done well all season. Mets swing the bat with runners in scoring position. Anyone here on the RBI double? Ramon Ramirez will get the call now as he'll try to get the final two outs here and get this one on to the ninth inning. Carlos Ruiz will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. The tag gets one. Cody Ashey. We'll try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now here's the first pitch. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. back to swing but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike
started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third. And ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. One in the inning for the Phillies on the Dominic Brown RBI double. On to Dustin Ackley will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Center fielder, Dustin Ackley. Antonio Bastardo will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. And look at this, a bunt attempt to start the ninth. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. 0-2 oh now as Cano comes up empty on that one. Ah, that thing's knee-high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that one. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. One, two is an off-speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. And you know, this is what the good ones do. They can wait you out up there. They sort of foul pitches off. They take pitches. They make the pitcher come to you. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in is the right fielder, Corey Hart. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And Hart has himself a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. Justin Smoke will come up now in yet another big RBI opportunity. And he's got four already, and he's got a chance to make this a game to remember. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Ackley with the lead from second, now the pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Rollins. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Boy, and this would have been a really costly double play, but fortunately, he's hustling all the way down the line, and he's able to beat that throw on the back end. And this is fouled back and out of play. Runners at the corners, two men out. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Mariners leave a couple, then it remains a 4-3 game. Houston Street is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 16, Houston Street. Darren Ruff will be asked to pinch hit to lead off the home half of the ninth. And trailing by a run, he'll be trying to get on base any way he can. And double-barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left-hander and a right-hander start to throw. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Here comes the 1-0. 1-0 pitch is his slider. Swung on and missed. 1-1. One one. Can't tie the game swinging at balls. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Oh, a nice stop. He's to his feet. Can he get it there? He can indeed. A great play there for the first out. Well, this is a pretty high degree of difficulty right here. It helps when you've got a strong arm to make this play. You see him do almost a pop-up slide as he fields this thing, and then from then on out, it is all arm, folks. Boy, that's very well done. Number 19 will bat now. A couple of hits in four trips, including a double. 
And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. Ackley is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Two gone, and Jimmy Rollins will step in. One for four in the ballgame. Now the first pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. The win would belong to the big right-hander Chris Young if the lead holds up for him here. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Now here's a hot shot out to right center field, and that'll be over the head of Cano and down for a base hit. Yeah, Tyne runs on base now with two outs, and who knows? If this next guy can put one in the gap, we could have ourselves a tie ball game. Chase Utley will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. on Rollins now the pitch now a swing and a ground ball this should do it and this is bobbled now by Cano not particularly graceful there and as a result he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play Ryan Howard will come forward now in an RBI opportunity he probably didn't think he'd have yeah it certainly didn't look like he'd have one but now is where you really have to make teams pay. Nothing will demoralize a team in the field quite like having two out airs to lead the run. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Oh, in time, and the ball game is over. Another good job right there by the All-Star. Houston Street comes in to finish him off here in the ninth. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And if we had to single out one star from the Mariners roster tonight, I think it would have to be this man, Justin Smoke. What a performance he our turned in. He's our tonight. tops First player of the game. Yep, Mariners. and I think we four probably runs, could have given this hits. award to three or four Mariners. different people, but you definitely can't this. overlook his contribution. He really played four a great ball game. Three runs, 14 hits.